definitely emphasize it, you know, pride itself in um, maybe having a team to go out there, be physical, you know, and uh, win at the point of attack, whether it's offensive line, defensive line. And uh, so you definitely respect that about him and um, you know what he demands up front. And, you know, on the perimeters as well, you know what I'm saying, having a physical team, he pride, pride of us being in good shape. And um, that's why, you know, we train the way we do, and, and he definitely want to have a tough football team on the field. This group as the whole team. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we, you know, week in and week out, we're getting better, you know. And I think the biggest thing for us is uh, consistency, you know, being consistent with it. It takes um, putting that work in every day, you know, every week, every game to um, be able to earn that reputation of being a strong, physical team. And uh, I think that's what we're working towards. You know, like I, I said a, a couple of times this year, you know, um, always being um, uh, somebody that the offense got to account for is something that I take pride in, obviously. And um, on a personal level, you know, you always want stats, but you got to, you know, you do the job that's asked you and um, to make the plays when they're there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it go hand in hand, you know. So at the end of the day, if I'm the best me, you know, I'm, I'm being the best for my team. And, um, you know, everything else will come. You know, it'll come when it's supposed to come. But but definitely, you know, as a competitor, you know, you want to get, you know, certain stats, whatever it may be. But if it don't happen, then cool. At the end of the day, you try. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, when they watch the film of me, you know, I put my best foot forward and uh, still making some good impact. And um, I'm, I'm enjoying playing right now. Obviously, you know, you look back on the games. Um, that's the good thing about division games. That second time around, you got some tape from the same year to, to you know, to, to compare to. And no, nobody, any your team will come out and do the exact same thing. But it is something to go back to and reflect on things you could have done better and being able to have that second chance, you know, to go out there and to try to get a win against a good opponent. You know, uh, looking at it as a team, you know, we was in the fourth quarter within three points, you know. A um, couple of mistakes, you know, um, let the game to get a little straight at the end. But still, with a couple of minutes left, we're still in position, two position, two possession game. So I mean, we're fairly, fully confident, you know, in the team going forward. But you know, it, 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 against a team like this, you know, they chance for a reason. You know, they got a, um, they're good at every level, front, quarterback, skill. Same thing on defense side of the ball, every level they got great talent. And uh, so you got to be on your, on your tip top game. You know, they got a great head coach. You know, to get demand the best out of them. And uh, so it's gonna be a great challenge, man. It's gonna be a great challenge. Uh, you know, what? that's probably been like true for a minute. I think probably one year I didn't have it. I was, we had a uh, Justin Zimmer, man, here up in Buffalo now. But well, Zimmer was probably the only one I remember that that can, that can get with me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so, so we we don't really train a little different around here nowadays. But but I know I can I can put it up there. Uh, I don't. I, I haven't done a one rep max in a minute, but it, I, I can move some weight. You know what I'm saying? I can move some weight. I can move move a little something. So, oh, man, I'm a little weight, man. I might I might let y'all in a little something. A little, little off seat. You know what I'm saying? Off seat. I might put some up for you, man. But in, in the season, you know, you you fighting every week. You know what I'm saying? So to go through all that weight on there during the season, you know, it, it ain't, it's gonna be a little skewed. So I might drop something for you in the off season. I'm sorry, D. Led. The, the what from Brady? Yeah, what do you see from Brady in his operation the last couple of days? I'm, you know, I'm seeing the same thing everybody across the league seeing, man. You know, he's playing the best football of his career, you know. And, um, you know, when you ever, whenever you're somebody on the field with Tom Brady, you know, it pull out the best in the guys that's playing with him. So other guys that's playing hard, you know, will have a leader like that. So, I mean, seeing the same thing everybody else seeing, putting up crazy numbers, um, getting the ball out fast, still got some um, – Pepper wanted to get it out deep, you know, he's making all the throws, man. So, um, somebody, you know, I mean, what can I say?
Yep, so representing um, Children Health Care of Atlanta this year. Uh, been great partners of mine and uh, things they stand for. And uh, so, so we had a, um, had a special kid design some, design some cleats for me this year. So y'all keep an eye on that for us. And then we'll be a, so maybe drop a little video, give them a little shout out or something. But um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. And uh, I'm excited with my partnership with Children's. You know, I did a couple uh, commercials for them and then visits for them, you know, whether it's gonna do some things with, um, you know, since um, kids are not doing too well, whether on the holidays or, um, and also encouraging like parents to, take their kids up there for sports injuries and stuff like that. So, cause they specialize in so many, you know, good things that's so specific to um, to children in, in, in the Atlanta area. We're fortunate to have something like that. So, so want to shine some more light on things um, children in healthcare doing and I'm um, glad to be a part of it. How do you go about choosing who um, It actually was a contest they had. Um, they had, and, uh, I had to choose from, I remember they sent over the proof. He did a couple different designs and uh, which is all cool design, like four or five different designs and uh, sent it over to my team. And then my mom sent it to me. She was like, which ones, uh, which designer you want, I mean, which cleat design you want to go with? So who did it? And we kept looking at the name on the cleat. It was the same name. It was like, oh man, this is Hank kid did all these. And so it came up with a couple cool different designs and uh, we ended up choosing one. That's the one I'm gonna wear on the game. And, uh, but he came up with a whole bunch of different designs. Super, super talented kid. Oh, that's my go-to. That's my go-to for Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? Ask the fam. My responsibility is mac and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Judah, man, that's a good. That's a good friend of mine. Man, I respect the game. You know, love to watch the places at Baltimore, man. He tearing it up in New England. Talked to him after the game we played, and I, you know, I saw the statement come out what he said, and I just, I, I didn't know who the, who that man was. Not just like, <laughs> no. So, man, it's all love. It's all love. Hey, people like what they like. But the mac and cheese, man, that's a must-have, and uh, that's that's what I do for my family. And, um, so yeah, yeah, yeah.